So with this, you need to have two support, two colleagues to help you because you cannot do it alone. Okay? So, who can join now? And yeah, Patrick. Ah. Okay. So, first is you have to, okay? So you just have to, okay, let's just go, go to the side piece, okay? So, first is you have to do your, uh, your opening. So make sure that you read the chart of your patient so that you will know if there's any order from the doctor for the patient, uh, if it's the patient scheduled for examination. Then after reading, then you, you go do your hand washing. Then before you go and take the stretcher bed, you need to talk to your colleagues. Okay? Jana and Catherine, please go with me. Uh, please help me to transfer your patient because pay, my patient is already scheduled for an operation or whatever examination. Okay? So we will go together, okay? So come Jenna here. So we'll go together, we will have to move this wheelchair and this structure going to the patient's room. So once the, the once we are already inside the patient's room and then the, the, the stretcher bed and the uh, slider board is already there, then I have to stand, okay? On the other side of the patient's bed and have to introduce, identify, and then just for courtesy and for building the trust, then I have to tell, okay, you can also have to, okay, stand on the other side, opposite side of the bed. The, the, the structure bed is on the side, okay? It's not yet on the, on the patient's bed, okay? So the, your colleague will stand opposite to you, okay, mm -hmm. on the other side of the bed. Then now I have to introduce ma'am. I have with me John and Catherine. They are my colleague. There is also... They're also nurse nice assistant. They will help me to uh, uh, transfer you from your bed to the stretcher bed. Okay, because you have scheduled MRI today. Okay, so first is I have to ask my colleague, stand here. So can you help me roll the patient? Okay, roll the patient towards you. Okay, then I have to remove the pillow. So I have to once I remove the pillow, I have to get this what do you call it? Slider sheet. Okay. So slider sheet, I have to spread it to the to the side where I'm standing. And then I have to ask after spreading the slider sheet, I have to ask my colleague, can you roll my patient, the patient towards me? Okay, then I have to hold the patient, then tell your colleague, can you bring the uh, board? Okay, from the bed, touch your bed to the patient's bed. Okay, mm -hmm. then once you already the, the board is already on the patient's bed. Then I have to roll the patient towards the center. And then this time, the half of the body of my patient should be on the board. Half is on the bed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'll tell my colleague, please hold the sheet. Okay? We will slide. Do not lift. Okay? Because ideally, the board on the video that we'll be seeing is a thin bit. Okay, not the thick one. This mm -hmm. is the this is a emergency transfer board. They, they bought the, the wrong one. So, but on the, on, the, on the video, you will be seeing how it looks like, okay? So, we will have, with a count of three, we'll have to slide the patient from the bed to the board using mm -hmm. that slider sheet, okay? So, count of three, one, two, three. Okay, she's now on the board, okay? So, this time, I'll ask my colleague, can you move the structure bed, okay, towards the patient's bed? should be in the same height or the same level okay so it will be easy for you to slide or transfer and then make sure the wheels are locked okay is it locked then you have to stand can you stand on the other side of the stretcher bed because you have to grab stand there and then you have to grab the board okay grab the board not the sheet okay so with account with my command with my account of three we will have to a slide okay we have to slide the patient which is she is on the board we will slide the board okay towards the structure bed okay but we'll not do it that huh? actually you let we'll just have to move it like this okay so the count to three you have to push i have to push have to pull okay count to three one two three okay so she's now let's assume she's now on the we already slide okay mm -hmm. she's on the structure bed now so, okay, remove that. Let's assume that she's on the stretcher bed. Okay? So, she's on the stretcher bed, then 
ask her, your colleague to help me. Can you help your, my patient to roll to, towards me, guys? Okay? And then please remove the board. Okay? Put on the, okay, the side. And then, okay, so help me again. Hold the patient. Okay? Roll the patient towards you because you have to remove the, the sheet from the side. Okay? Then this time, I, and then please put back to the center. Then let, let's provide, provide safety. Put the rails up. Rails up, okay? And then I have to take the pillow to provide comfort, okay? And then I'm also getting the... There's no... Okay, can you get the, okay? The blanket, so should, there should be a blanket. For example, there's a blanket because you are taking our patients out, making sure that you are providing privacy, okay? So, you have, you're putting a privacy into your patient, then I have to unlock the wheels of the stretcher bed, then I'll tell my patient and my colleague, ma'am, it's time, okay? So we're now taking you to the examination for your MRI, okay? So colleagues, let's go. I will have to take the patient now to the examination room, then we will endorse it to the examiner, then we will all go together to the to our nurse station, we will do your hand, our hand washing, then I'll do my documentation because that's my patient, then uh, we will have to wait for a call from the examiner for us to take the patient back to the room. And that's the end of your transfer. Mm -hmm. We're good? Thank you guys. Thank you. That's about Okay. So next meeting, guys. Okay, next meeting will be your practicals, okay? So you